Your team is right behind you. You have Buddy over there screaming that you're his mentor. Bro, he has life going on too. And if he can't count on you to get through your bullshit, how is he gonna be able to get through his bullshit? Straight up, and I mean this for all the respect, your problems aren't special. I'm a big energy person, bro. But some people, and me myself, you know, it's hard to really control my emotions, you know, and not necessarily like crying, but but like more so on, you know, somebody gives up, and I'm just like, man, come on, like, you know, how do you control your emotions? Because the way that you are, the way that your 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 um energy is, that's the same way that, that I am, you know. That's an incredible question, first and foremost. Thank you. Um, so how do you control your emotions? Emotional intelligence will make or break you, bro. Emotion, and now, now I'm about to talk about some shit that'll go over some people's head, right? Because you asked a complex question, so I'm gonna give you a real answer for this. Emotional intelligence will make or break you, bro. I'm an emotional human being as well, bro. Right. Everything I do, I'm extremely emotional. If I love, I love dearly. If I hate, it is what it is, you get me? And I, I, I'm very, very emotional, but what I had to do was understand that emotion and business, they often don't mix, but in the right environment, they create the perfect recipe. So emotion and business, they may not mix always, but in the right environment, it's literally the perfect recipe. There's a time and a place to be emotional. And that's where it is that you gotta start recognizing, right? When you're in front of people, what I always tell people is this, punish in private, praise in public. If, if somebody's quitting, don't try to talk to them in front of a bunch of other people. Don't try to pull them aside, have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with them. Maybe have a, a sit down lunch and find out what it is that you as a leader could have done better, right? And if they're winning, Go praise them in public, right? There's a time and a place to be emotional. And what you gotta do is before you go out and you react, because I'm still working on it myself, bro, I'm not perfect. But before you go out there and you react, take a second to go to the side and take three breaths. Take eight breaths, as many as you need, right? And just sit there and think about it, think about it, think about it, think about it. Another thing is prayer, bro. Bro, prayer, com converse with God as much as possible, bro. I don't know what you believe in. But converse in whatever it is. All right, God, conversing, converse with God as often as you possibly can and pray that he, he blesses you with that type of, 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 of emotional intelligence, right? Because at the end of the day, he knows what triggers you. So he knows what to keep away from you. But then he's also going to be able to prep you for what it is that's coming in as well, right? So just pray on it. You want that skill set, keep on praying on it. Keep on praying on it. Pray for that wisdom. Ask the universe. Don't, don't even ask the universe. Thank the universe that you're already at that level, be like, yo, thank you, universe. I'm so happy and grateful right now that my emotional intelligence level is on 100, right? Yes, Keep on doing that, bro. You're gonna start wiring that mind, bro. And as you start to have conversations, you're gonna, bro, there's conversations I have with people that I just stop and I, I won't even talk for like three, three, four, five, ten seconds. And they're like looking at me like I'm crazy. They're like, huh? And I just, I don't wanna, I don't, I don't wanna answer on an emotional basis. So I take mm. a step back and I'm like, all right, cool. And that's okay. <laughs> yeah. It's so, okay to bite your tongue. Okay. Make other people step up. You can't make anyone step up. I can't make you step up. I, remember what I said in there. I'm not here to change what people do. I'm here to change the way they think. Access to information changes situations. What's your schedule look like Mondays? What does your team do? Trade calls Tuesday. Mindset Wednesday. Trading Thursday. Mindset, so these are all calls, right? That's the problem, bro. You're running an all online business. When do you guys get together? How often? So, moms don't hang out, dads don't hang out. Bring the kids. But I have an organization in Canada that they're all moms and dads. And they have family picnics. They have things that are gonna build culture that they involve their kids with. You feel me? You gotta start building a culture because when people build a culture, they feel more inclined to protect the culture. When they feel more inclined to protect the culture, they step up as a leader, right? That's what you gotta start doing. You gotta build up this culture, right? Not only that, stop thinking that you can change people and get them to step up. You gotta start recruiting people that wanna step up. You gotta recruit up, bro. Cause you're probably at the stage right now and I've been there. Anybody that'll sign up, you'll sign them up. Oh shit, my dog's down, I'm gonna go sign up my dog. My, my abuela's down, I'm gonna go sign up abuela really quick, knowing that she don't even have a smartphone, right? You're at that stage. Be selective who it is that you allow into your organization. Don't prejudge, but be selective. So for me, I go after alphas. I go after elite. I go after individuals that I look at and I'm like, that guy will blow up the business. And if, if I'm scared to approach them, then I approach them even more. Real estate agents, athletes, uh, influencers on social media, so on and so forth. You, you, if you meet somebody at a, at a restaurant and you like the person's vibe that's giving you the, the order, 
bro, and, and only offer their energy and you see that they're an alpha, ask them for their information. Stop trying to recruit from down here, start trying to recruit from up here. You feel me? Become that because some days I'm more motivated and I don't put as much work in as I should be and I wanna have that full dedication to go all in. So like, how, how does that work? Bro, you gotta remember, motivation, that, that, that's just a word, right? right. Motivation is just a word, but dedication is a verb. Dedication is something that you do. Motivation is just a feeling, right? So you gotta go, think about it. Whenever you wanna be dedicated, you gotta ask yourself, am I doing something? Because a verb, it's what you do, right? So if you're not doing something, you're not dedicated. So the next time you're like, damn, I wanna get dedicated right now, get up and go, right? Just literally get up and go and start making that decision, right? And it's gonna start with little things because how you do everything is how you do everything, right? How you do anything is how you do everything. So with that said, it'll start with maybe fixing your bed. Oh man, I gotta fix my bed. Let me just get up and do it right now. Then it'll start with, oh, I gotta call my parents. Let me just go and do that right now. Then it's, oh, I gotta jump on this call. Let me just go ahead and do this right now. I should be on IML TV. Let me go ahead and do this right now. And you're gonna start to create that habit to the point that you become an action taker at all times. You feel me?